So welcome to virtually our first companion lesson um, using Visual Studio to go along with using Unity Bolt. So we're going to hand code something and then we're going to see how we do it in Bolt. Again, emphasizing that you cannot um, program in Bolt or any other visual um, package such as uh, the one in Unreal Blueprint, unless you know how to program. You don't know what you're choosing and you don't know what terms you're using. So, um, but once you learn how to program uh, coding, hand coding, then you can easily use Bolt. So, I've set up a brand new 2D project and I know where it is on my game. I know where it is in my uh, setup. So, make sure you do too. Um, so make sure when you add that new game, first of all, you choose your version. And then when you click a new one, you put it in one of the documents so you know where it is. Mine is under uh, C Sharp. And then I have both of these are all my projects. Make sure you do too. Okay, so um, I downloaded Brackey's Assets, the asset store Brackey's free 2D Mega Pack. I imported it, and they're right there. Okay. If you don't have the asset store window, asset store right there. So going back to the scene, here's Brackies. And let's just do the whole thing again. I think I chose characters and soldiers. And there they are. Okay? But you can see there are three of them. I don't want three of them. So I'm going to go over here because I'm in the sprite mode now. And I'm going to choose multiple. Because um, there's you know, multiple cuts here. I'm going to go to the sprite editor. And I'm going to choose automatic. Oh, looks okay. Slice. And did it slice? Let's see. No. So multiple, sprite editor, apply, apply. Maybe I had to double click. I think I had to double click on that and um, keep that up. So there they are. And I'm just going to click slice. And they're sliced. So again, double click on this. Choose multiple here. Sprite editor, make sure you've double clicked on that before. And then just uh, um, slice it there. But mine are already sliced. I'll bring this guy up there. I'm then going to go to uh, the assets again. And I'm going to get the platform. This one? No, I don't like that one. So it must not have been platform. What was it? I think it was platforms, backgrounds, environment, and environment, gold miner, gothic, grungy tiles. Okay, environment tiles. I like this one. Can I stretch him out? And I can stretch him out. And I can move this guy using the move tool, which is up here, down there. And let's stretch this out a little bit more. So I'm going to scale it, which is this tool, and then move it. Looks good. Okay, so um, 
I'm then going to keep a put a bus collider on this guy. So let's yeah, let's just call him Soldier. So we're going to rename him to Soldier, and we're going to add component two uh, D. Remember we went two D bus collider two D, and that, and so remember we can adjust this. Um, with by just clicking on this X here and moving it back and forth and then we can also move it but that looks okay it could be maybe a little bit tighter there we go and let's get a bus collider around our ground and let's just call this ground And let's add a component. And box collider 2D. Perfect. Let's play the game. And let's sort of raise this guy up a little bit. And let's add a rigid body to him. We know he wants to, we want to have a rigid body. So we're going to type in rigid, rigid body 2D. And notice that means he has gravity. Let's see what happens. He falls. Perfect. Okay, so let's hand code our first script. So I'm going to right click, create. So let's do that again. Right click, create, C sharp script. And let's just call this position. Let's call it move position. OK. So, let's double click on it, and let's make sure it says move position. It does. Okay, so, when the game starts, we want him to move to a certain position when it starts. And we're going to put in voice starts, and we're going to do it one time. Um, before the game really starts playing, it's going to do this, and then it would start looking for other lines of code. So, we're going to have a... Let's zoom back out. We want to affect the transforms. Right now he's at, well, you know what? Let's see what happens if we make this zero, zero. Yeah. Why is my camera at negative 10? Well, that's okay. We'll move the ground back down. And where's our guy at? And let's just make him zero there. That's okay. And if I think I make him zero here, he's going to be below the ground. He's going to be up. So let's just scale the ground up. So I want him to be at zero, zero. So I'm going to click here, scale. I'm going to scale it up. Yeah, that's a lot of ground. But now my soldier's at zero, zero. And I think he's still above the ground, or is he going to start falling? He's still above the ground. We're good. OK, he falls down a teeny bit. Where's our ground at? Um, uh, we'll scale it up just a teeny bit more. Okay, so our guy's at zero, zero, and um, now we're going to um, move him to a certain position when the game starts. So we're going to transform. 
dot so transform dot position and we want a new vector 3 and let's make it um, 0 let's move them up a little bit let's move them up so he falls and no we don't have a Z just X and Y I'll make a 0 there I don't know why this doesn't like position. Because I didn't have an equal sign in there. Okay, so right now he's at 0, 0, 0. And I want to transform his position to a new vector 3, even though it's technically a vector 2, right? Um, of, well... Let's put something in here. Three, three on the x, positive three to the x, up four on the y. Let's save it. Go back to the game. Let's play. And nothing happens. It sort of bounces off the ground. I think he's. I think my ground's just a little too high. Let's give it down just a teeny bit. Okay, now you should know why. Oh, he's not doing anything. Yeah, he's not doing anything because the script's not on him. So any script we have, we wanted to do something that's got to be on an object. And did we get it there? We did. It's right there. Okay, let's now go to our game. Let's maximize on play. Let's see what we got. Yep. So as soon as the game starts, he moves up four and over three. And let's go change that. Let's make him up like six. So he gets up there to seven. Save it. He's already... Um, So here we go. And he's already went up to seven and then dropped down. Now let's take a look at where he is. So back to the scene. Actually, let's not maximize on play so we can see what's going on. Now let's play it. Let's watch this X value. Right here on the right. He goes over 7 and he's over 3. Uh, he must not quite be on 0, 0. He should be on exactly 3 when we play that. Oh, when he comes down, he's probably a little bit off. Yeah, so he's just a teeny bit off when he falls down. But you can see it changed to 3 and he went up 7. So we have moved our player... Um, doing that uh, using our script so like if we want to have a uh, object come into the game or like a uh, some text or a canvas come into the game when the game first starts we would put in void start and then we would uh, write transform dot position okay good so um, this is the hand coding version so see if you can get this done um, Why am I not seeing my ground now? Maybe my ground disappeared. No, there it is. Anyway, um, go ahead and let's try this. My camera's still there? Oh, there it is. Okay, so... Um, Go ahead and uh, create a new project. 
Um, bring in the Brecky's assets, use whatever object you want, use whatever tile you want. And from there, we're going to go ahead and do your hand code. And then the next lesson, we'll see how we did that using uh, uh, Bolt. Let me know if you have any questions.